for private email consultation, <clears throat> you can email us at themullings at gmail.com. For a copy of our book, Writs, Affidavits, Lawsuits, Liens, you can email us at themullings at gmail.com. And for joining to join our online tutor school class, you can email us now at themullings at gmail.com. If you find these videos helpful, you can uh, you wish to donate to us to uplift fallen humanity for our time, research, and our channel, you can email us at themullings at gmail.com. All right. Thank you to Tressi Rock Rockimore, Rockymore for sharing this with me this night. It's the notice of rescission of implied contract with the state and federal governments in lieu of our American Indian status. I'm just going to read it. You guys can go back and watch this video several times, or you can email us for copies of these documents that we make public on the site at themullings at gmail.com. All right, so you put your date from to governor, state of, so ours would be Elizabeth Dowd as well, doing business as um, governor for Canaanite Land Canada originally, and the governor here in this territory known as Northern Marian Islands, um, to the Attorney General State of, um, then you put that information there in there, number three, Director, Department of Motor Vehicles, you put their information in there, and then the Commissioner, Inland Revenue Service, put their information in there. Then you'd CC this to Mr. John Barrasso, MD, Chairman, U.S. Senate Committee on Indian Affairs, on Indian Affairs, 838 Hart Senate Office Building, Washington, D.C., 20510. And to Mr. Tracy Tolu, T-O-U-L-U, Director of Office of Tribal Justice, U.S. Department of Justice, 950 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20530. Those of you incarcerated for petty crimes, remember, Georgia... Georgia Code, go back to our videos, <clears throat> use the Georgia Code, as all Moors American Indians are immune from criminal prosecution. Also use Title, 6, Title 15, 1692, verification of debt, and then use the documents that you hear me read out to you publicly. For those of you who do not have access um, to going to these buildings or do or, yeah, if you're incarcerated. Notice of rescission of implied contract with state and federal governments. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, a, this is a formal notice to advise and inform you that effective immediately, I assert and claim my unalienable rights. And among these rights is my right to no longer wish to participate as a citizen of the state of Canaanite land, also known as Canada, also known as Northern Mariana Island, um, a.k.a. Um, Jamaica now um, or the United States government or of the United States government. I also rescind my rights to vote in any elections. I have taken no oath nor swore any allegiance to any municipal, county, state or federal government. <clears throat> I am instead asserting and claiming my status and standing as a uh, denizen of a tribal Native American government whose inherent sovereignty predates European contract, the United States Constitution. This is in essence means, this in essence means that in the event I am pulled over based on probable cause as asserted as a lawful, as a law enforcement officer, I cannot be prosecuted in state courts as they have no, no jurisdiction over Indians and Indian affairs and Moors. See Washchester versus Georgia, 31 U.S. 6 Pete, 51, 51, 1832. Williams v. Um, Williams v. is in Victor Lee, 358 U.S. 217, 1959. Iron Crow versus Orgella, O G A L L A. L A C U C U S I O U X tribe 129 F SUP S U P P period 151955 Wisconsin um Potawatomias P O T O W A T O M 
as in Mary I E S of Hannaville, H A N N A V I L L E, Indian Community versus Houston, 399, 393F SUPP 719, American Indian Agricultural Credit Consortium, Incorporated versus Fredericks 551F SUPP 1020. 1982 in parentheses Inyo, I N Y O County versus P I U T P A I U T E, um, little dash S H O S H O N E, Shoshone <coughs> Indians of the Bishop Community 538 U.S. 701 2003, Rice versus Olson, R I C E versus Olson, O-L-S-O-N, 324 U.S., 786, 19, 1945, quoted in McLennan, McLennahan versus Arizona State Tax Commission, 411 U.S., 164, 168, 17, 1973, in brackets. My lawyers advised me that none of these, um, F, none of these cases have been overruled either by precedent or enacted legislation. Just put the O in off there, guys. Please be advised that these this exclusive criminal jurisdiction over Indians and Indian Affairs is granted under 18 U.S. United States Code 1152 and 25 United States Code 1301. I respectfully request the Attorney General to inform the County Sheriff and local law enforcement officers of this notice. Number two, further be further advised that I invoke my rights under Article 1, Section 10 of the United States Constitution and guarantees <clears throat> that guarantees me that no state shall impair the obligation of a private, in parentheses, contract that I have willfully, willingly, sorry, freely and voluntarily entered into any tri with a tribal Native American government. In essence, this means that the state has no respect, um, has to respect. This means that the state has to respect my decision to contract solely with a native tribal government. Number three, all my affairs in commerce as a tribal corporation are associated with Revenue Ruling 94-16, which grants tax exemptions for tribal corporations under Section 17 of the Indian Reorganization Act, Howard-Wheeler Act of 1934. As an individual, I invoke the rights provided for the under, for under section, I think this is V, which is five or six, check that, um, section V of the revenue ruling 67, 280-284. Number five, <clears throat> my rights to tra my travel requirements. Let me see if I have enough time. I'm on page three of five. I don't know if I have enough time to read all of this, but I'm going to try my best. My travel requirements with con within continental America will be met by a tribal travel permit in Indian County. I'm going to stop it there, you guys. I'm going to do it in the next video. I'm going to follow up. I just want to thank Copper Aborigines, um, Tracy, um, Tracy Rockymore for sharing this with me. Um, look at the comments Rock, Copper Aborigines have made to us recently. We just want to say a huge thank you to you for sharing all the information and all of you in the comment section for commenting to us here and for emailing us. We'll do our best to write back to everybody. It is now uh, five o'clock in the morning here. We started at 12 o'clock last night, so we're trying to get through to everyone, right? Um, just look at your emails, get your flash drives and your hard drives, you know what to do there. And um, you guys can email us here at themullingsatgmail.com for a copy of our book. You can email us to join our online school tutor class at themullingsatgmail.com. And you can write for our writs and a private consultation at themullingsatgmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. Thank you to the new subscribers in Russia, Germany, all of you guys over in Europe. A huge thank you. We had a whole Russia you guys joined recently and we just want to say welcome all right like share subscribe you guys have yourself a great day and yes I have written for you guys as well too